Good morning, good people. Well, morning for me at least right now in Berlin. It's two degrees, very gray, rainy, amazing. Um, it's Saturday. And um, I said in the last video that I was going to do something about, talk something about subjectivity in programming. But the topic is, I still can grab some of the concepts I really want to understand in order to talk about it more pragmatically, let's put it like that, more objectively. <laughs> um, I, I, quite, I didn't quite get all of the points I wanted to get for myself. But, but before I do that, when I, in the process of doing it, I was thinking this morning, especially because I watched some old um, Uncle Bob's uh, Scriber's Oath video, which I really recommend. Some of his videos are very nice. Um, he has very good, uh, I, would like, I like to call like fundamental, right? I don't know a good name to say, but this roots knowledge about some stuff that exists in coding, right? In programming. Um, and I was watching this with a friend that is uh, beginning to program, actually got a, a few jobs already, like junior entry jo jobs, very well, doing very well, he learn, he's very good at it. Um, and when I'm talking to him, we, sometimes we're on Discord, we're coding together, pair programming, and, um, and I see that he loves to code. And, and I see that, uh, I remember myself, right? He loves to write the code. And you know, sometimes when two programmers with some free time, uh, some slots in their, in their time, and they think like, I could be writing an app in this free time. <laughs> it's like, I could, I could open a bar. It's like, yeah, I could have write a new app. And then you actually, for me, after so many years, we talk about it, it's exciting, right? It's, it's exciting to think about these things. Um, but then, after so many years doing this kind of thing, I was thinking, well, do I, do I want to, why do I want to write this, right? And this is something I ask myself often. And one question I ask myself is, if this, uh, if this already existed, would I just go there and use it instead of writing everything from scratch? Sometimes the answer is no, right? And that makes very clear for yourself how what you want is really to write the code, right? What you want is to do the code, not to have the product. Of course, sometimes you, if you're thinking that like a business, not something that will provide just raw value to people, like, um, yeah, this I don't really need so much, but could be a business idea, right? This kind of thinking. That could also happen, but in that case, you can, you can say, okay, maybe it's not something that I will use right now, but I would have a business with it, right? So, and when, I, when I'm thinking about this, like, okay, my excuse is that I want to have a business instead of solving my value now, my, my problem now, all right, so imagine you got the app, right? I'm talking to an imaginary person here, so I could talk to you later. Imagine that you have the app, right? For free, already coded. You say, I would like to have a business with this kind of product. And then I'll give you the product, done, it's here. Now all you have to do is actually start the business, right? Just go open your, your company and start selling. I don't know, make ads. Uh, I don't know how we're going to sell it, go to stores, door to door, whatever it is, send mails. Time to sell, time to get the product out, right? However you, your app requires it. And so if this would happen, would you still want to do the business? Would you be ready to do these things? Because if the answer is no, then again, you really just want to code, right? You just really want to sit down and write some code. Um, and this is not a bad thing, right? It's because in this hyper-productive world, uh, we have this feeling sometimes that we have to, to, be, to be productive all the time. And by productive, sometimes we lie to ourselves, or, maybe, or better, we convince ourselves, we are able to convince ourselves, even though we don't believe it so much, that 
yeah, this coding time is learning. I'm practicing. Every second I'm doing it, I'm getting better. And in the end, uh, we better can be better paid for this time I'm investing in this investment. So, okay, sometimes it's true, right? But sometimes you really, you really just want to write some code. You write some, get something, half the screen on Veeam, half the screen on Chrome, and you're writing Vue.js code in Vim, which is a challenge in itself, at least for me most of the times. Um, but it's, I don't know, it's fun, I like it. And uh, on the other side, you see your product appearing. It's like a drawing, right? It's like a drawing. It literally is drawing. I'm always telling people, you know what an artist sees the person in the background, the model in the background, and start to draw them on a camera or something? We, we see reality, right? We see the work that happens in the world. We see what people are doing with the businesses, the processes they need to execute to get some actual work done, uh, some value producing, hopefully. Um, but we see that and we draw in code, right? We write the code, we say, can you work for me, please work. Oh, he goes there, he prints that paper, then he gets that paper and gives to that girl. So maybe I could automate this, this is the process, maybe I could automate it by making this automatically get to her email when he presses a button. Something like that, right? You watch in reality and then you, you talk. This is fun, at least for some of us. For me, it's really fun. And for this friend of mine, I think he finds it really fun as well. But what's the problem with that? The problem with that is that when you want to do something, as I say, you only like to do something, and there's a chance to do it, sometimes you make yourself believe that you should do it. <clears throat> And if you get hired to a company as an engineer, right, as a programmer, uh, you are supposedly there to program, right? But, and that's what I think this model of thinking, if you had it right now, would you stop coding? If you could get a third party app to do that, like let's say an admin panel, or you think you have to write your own, of course, some, some third-party libs, right, gems, however we call packages, uh, they, they, uh, we want to use them, right? We don't want to rewrite maybe, I don't know, a big crypt uh, authentication methods inside, like, and, and connect them with Rails. Like, for example, you have the has secure password thing, you just put it in, everything is done. And for these things, it's because we don't see very much a way to do it, or we see it as too hard. It's above, above a thresher that we already automatically discarded, but I don't have interest in doing this. But this, this could be fun. So if it could be fun, I want to do it. And then you start coming up with facts and reasoning why we should write from scratch. Why all the others are bad, right? All the other opportunities don't work quite as well as we're doing it from scratch. So for me, this is the problem with coding is that in a business environment, sometimes it's not what the client, I'm gonna put you as a, almost as an individual contributor, of course, in a team, probably, but your, your employer uh, doesn't want that necessarily, right? They want the, the problem solved, right? They want the problem solved, and if you can not write the code, would you not write the code? Or, at least have clarity to yourself, right? I want to write this code. Um, maybe professionally you shouldn't necessarily offer that to your employer. Maybe you should refer to them what you think is best for the business. And for that, you have to get a little bit out of the coding thinking and actually come to the problem solver thinking, right? It's like, how do I solve it? Not what I want to do. Which is kind of sad. I know I struggle with this for many years. Uh, it's like, yeah, but uh, I'm being hired for my talent, and my talent involves writing this code. But you know, you know, maybe that's the thing. Maybe you have to write a few times. Maybe you have to fall on this mistake a few times in the beginning, and then with time you learn, and then you make a YouTube video about it. But that's worthless because you have to go through it yourself. 
Um, so yeah, I think that's my thoughts on when coding, when enjoying it can be a problem because you know not all of us enter the industry because we enjoy it, right? Some people just come for the job, they just want a job. Some people come for other kinds of problems like math. I like to do math, I like to think uh, logically, I don't know, whatever. Some people like to see the modeling, which is kind of my case. And anyways, and with that, I'll let you guys move on with your lives. Cheers.